Good day and welcome to WOW with Dr. V. Um, it is our midweek um, stop to give thank yous and announcements, prayer requests, and a midweek, a short midweek word to just, just kind of hold us and keep us uh, until Bible study tonight. I hope that you will plan to attend as we end our series on forgiveness. I'll talk about that in just a moment. All right. <clears throat> we want to thank each of you who have contributed to David Campbell's library fund. We have begun purchasing the needed materials and we will continue to do that uh, as we go through the summer end of the beginning of the fall as he can get those books that are CME related at the Unity Summit. So we thank God for each of you who have been a blessing. That fund is in our treasury and we will be using it as we can to um, help him on his journey. So thank you all so much. Thanks to all of you who attended the Church Informational Institute on last Saturday. Carter is alive. We will love without dissension, we will give without hesitation, and we will serve without reservation as we love God, others, and ourselves. We were blown away as we all began to discuss the things that each uh, area had been doing over the course of this year. Uh, some things are still in their embryo stage, but they are on fire. And there are those that are in the planning stage, but what is coming is so exciting. So don't you miss it. Don't you get, you sit on the sidelines and wait to see what's going to happen. Get in here, get in this game. And, uh, and it is not a game in the playfulness sense, though playfulness is important in our faith walk. But it's, it's, it's the game in that get on board and be uh, ready to assist, to bring your individual unique gifts to all that we are trying to do. We need everyone. So please. Please, sir, please, ma'am, please, young person, please, child, get involved. And then we'll see just how much God will do. You pray for me, I pray for you. And we'll watch God change things and keep us going, leveling up and up and up. Amen. Prayers for Carter members and leaders attending the Connectional Youth and Young Adult Conference, which starts uh, officially Monday, but many of us will be leaving uh, between tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday, as we are, um, those of us who are in leadership, as we are anticipating the work that we will have to do to be prepared when the young people arrive on Sunday slash Monday. Please pray for our Episcopal District buses that are leaving on Saturday on their way to Connectional Youth and Young Adult Conference. We know that God is able to keep and protect each of us as we're on this journey and then to inspire and to lift us. We know that the conference is smaller than usual this time because we're still in a pandemic recovery. I know it doesn't seem like we should be, but we are. And so we're asking that you be prayerful for the Connectional Youth and Young Adult Conference starting on June 30th in Greensboro, North Carolina. DFW Northwest Texas Annual Conference is July 24th to 27th. Please plan to attend and register. It's in Dallas. Uh, it would be good for you to know what's going on. So call the office or go to the 8th District CME webpage for information. The more we know, the more we'll grow. The more we really know about who we are and what the CME Church is doing and what we are doing on a regional basis, the better we will be, the more informed we will be as we share the love of Christ, but also the joy of the fellowship of Carter Metropolitan with others. God bless you. Worship on Sunday starts with church school. Please join us at 9.30. All children are encouraged to attend classes with lessons designed just for them. Sister Yomi and 
those who are working with her are looking for your children. I say every week, children do not drive. They need you to get them there. Please make their faith formation your priority. Uh, and while you're bringing them, come yourself. There are classes for everyone at church school. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Try it and let's see. Bible study and prayer will return tonight. We will complete forgiveness. If you have missed the others, please plan to be here for the culmination and the tools that will be shared for our, uh, our being able to forgive not only others, but ourselves. The month of July will focus on corporate prayer as we prepare for a prayer focus in the next conference year, we will pray the month of July. Many of you know that I will be at annual conferences. And so um, we will not try to start a new series until August, but we will be praying all the time. So the church that prays together and studies together experiences strength, healing, and great power. We talked about the power of prayer on Sunday to do God's will and for deliverance to come in those areas that we are in need of. So come, pray together, strengthen the bonds of the Carter Metropolitan Church faith uh, community, and we will be better all around because you took the step to pray. We are lifting all of those who are grieving and mourning the loss of loved ones. We are praying for the Bowers Clark family and the loss of their brother Paul. We continue to pray for uh, Thurman and Liz Mile and Larry and Shirley Ross as both have, as they grieve uh, the loss of a cousin who was more, who was closer than cousins usually are. We are continuing to pray for the family of Sister Doris Brown. We are excited that Brother Mark Brown, who has been in the hospital, is out and recuperating well. Uh, the family is grateful for all that we are doing to keep them lifted. Please continue to check on those who are dealing with grief. Love well. That's loving well. And it really matters. Praying for the healing of body, mind, and spirit. Special prayers for Sister Cassetta Williams. Drs. T.A. and Nancy Sims, Sister Marie Webb, Brother Roosevelt and Sister Hazel G., Sister Joyce Crowder, Brother Mark Brown, Sister Kathy Harris, and Sister Yvonne Barron. Those in treatment or still in the fight. The treatment is over. There's still another uh, surgery, so Joanna's still in the fight, so we want to put her back on this part of the list. Sister Joanna Roberts, Sister Rhonda London, and all who are recovering or convalescing. Sister Patsy Rose, Brother Paul Brown, Paul Johnson, I'm sorry, and the Johnson family. Uh, my aunt, continue to pray for Dorothy Chimney, Sister Dolores K. Evans, Brother and Virgil and Sister Evelyn Palmer's grandson, I think his name is Andrew, um, Sister Deborah Sanders, Sister Alexis Howard, Reverend Elsie Manning and her mother, Sister Barbara Holston, Sister Brother Artis Barrett, Brother Brandon Young, who's back with us full um, fledged. We just want him to stay well. Brother Eugene Clark, Little Zimri Petter, Pettiford, Dr. Ballinger, Sister Melvie Clark, Sister Newton, Dr. Jackson, Dr. Sims, Sister Johnson, Sister Simon, Sister Glenn, Sister Hobb, and Sister Curry. I will get your name on this list because we are praying for you too. Uh, there is a bomb in Gilead. Remember I told you on Sunday there are some we are praying for healing and some we're praying that God will keep them uh, as they continue to strive to do God's will. Uh, even though they are seasoned and, and up in age, God is blessing. And so we are grateful for God's healing power and God's ability to strengthen us. Finally today, let me share this scripture with you, though the mercies through the mercy, Lord's mercies, we are not consumed. Because his compassions fail not, they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. The book of Lamentations is exactly that. It is a lament. 
It is a lament from the beginning to the end. There's this little segment in chapter three that reminds us that in the midst of everything that Jeremiah is uh, lamenting about, he's still operating in hope. So in Lamentations 3 are those familiar words that say that in the King James Version, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They're new every morning. Great is God's faithfulness. But the important part beyond knowing God is faithful is looking at life and all that we are dealing with and all of the struggles that come our way and being able to still say the Lord is my portion says my soul, therefore I will hope in him. So because God is faithful, we hope. We hold on to our hope. We hold on to that which we know God is able to do. That even in the midst of sorrow, in the midst of grief, in the midst of pain, in the midst of illness, in the midst of just trying to navigate life, being life, just trying to be dealing with all the things that come our way. Uh, as we often say, life be life, and, and it does. And there are things that come our way every single day that will derail us if we're not careful, if we don't focus on the steadfast love of the Lord, if we don't remember that it never ceases and that we get new mercies every single day. And that God is faithful. When we can focus on that, then we can say the Lord is my portion. And therefore, I will hope in him. Our hope is in the Lord. So no matter what we are struggling with, no matter what we see around us, there is craziness everywhere we turn. People are going through. People are being um, uh, cloaked on. People are being uh, set up for failure. But we know that God's faithfulness is greater than our calamities. God's great God's faithfulness is greater than our fears. God's faithfulness is greater than anything that we can even begin to conceive. That's why I like that song that says faithful is our God. I'm reaping the harvest God promised me. Take back what the devil stole from me. We've got to be able to stand strong with authority. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago. Stand in our authority. Take back what the devil tries to steal. Stand on the promises of God. And remember that God is faithful. And therefore, we must hold on to hope, come what may. I pray that you will do just that. I hope that you will meet us this evening as we talk about the tools for moving uh, into active forgiveness, not just knowing what forgiveness is. And I pray that you will be with us, that you will pray with us at 630, and that you will be here for Bible study at 7. Please be at church on Sunday. Please continue to be generous givers. We know it's the summer months and we try to sometimes slack off. Don't let that be you. God is faithful. You match God with faithfulness. You be as faithful as you can be. And God gets the glory. And ministry can go on as it should at Carter Metropolitan CME. May God bless and keep you is my prayer. Be blessed. Pray for us as we go. And we will see you soon.